Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about search engines for penetration testing and ethical hacking. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share and let's get into it and have some fun. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So there, there is so many, so many tools that we can utilize as pen testers, as ethical hackers, as security researchers, whatever you want to call us, right? So I want to go over a few tools that I want to showcase today. And the first one here is Shodan. Shodan is pretty much a search engine for IoT devices connected to the internet, right? So whereas like maybe like if you go to google.com or bing.com or yahoo or whatever these other search engines you're searching maybe for like a website and you're doing maybe google dorking to get, in, get gather intel on a website here on the other hand this is going to gather in insight on like the network connected uh, devices right so for an example let, let's just go ahead and just put google.com up here if i can spell google.com and we can connect to google.com and see what's going on right we can see, okay, there's a million, there's probably a lot more than that, but there's, in the, in the States, there's 90, 90 almost 92,000, 91, five. So you can see here, google.com, how many connected devices, or maybe even using, let's see their DNS, right? Let's go ahead and go to 8.8.8.8. Let's go ahead and click on this and see that for instance. We can click on that, hit search, and see what we're, what's cooking. So obviously this is DNS, this is their DNS server. So you can see dns.google, and I did this because it's less overwhelming. And now you can see in the United States, Google uh, LLC, you can see the autonomous system or ASN. So you can see here the open ports 53 and 443, which is HTTPS and DNS. And you can just get a little lay of the land. So why is this, why is this cool? Say for example, you got a client that ABC Incorporated hired you, you can go ahead and utilize this tool to check out some of their insight. So funny story, quick story. I think I've said this before. And there was a test that I did, you know, way back when in they they had a RDP server and a FTP server exposed to the internet. And I found it on Shodan with their IP address. And interesting enough, their RDP, which is 3389 was exposed and it was a server that they were testing with. There was a sysadmin was testing so he can remote in from home. And he didn't put it on a DMZ. He didn't really like segment that off the network. He just threw it up there, had a quick NAT rule to get, you know, that set up. And now he's exposing that to the world. So that was an entry point for us as testers to let them know, hey, like either take this down if it's not needed or put it in, in an environment that it cannot get to the production network because then it can be you know all hell can break, break loose all right so that's just a quick little story about my shodan and then we have census all right census is another tool that you can search for different devices servers etc let's just do for example the same thing let's just do 8.8.8.8 okay so let's just search this we can see the pretty much the same information we can see a summary we can see history we can do who is, which obviously we know who this is. It's Google, but you can use this tool as well with your client. You know, your client gives you their information, their IP address, their DNS names. You can see, okay, you can search for certificates. You know, what is their certificates? And there's so many other tools. I think it's CRT.sh as well. That's another one. Let me see if that's it. I think it's, uh, let's just go to quick Google, CRT.sh, I think. Yeah, so this is another one that you can utilize to check on different certificates. So say, for example, we go to google.com. Let's just, uh, or you can do a CIDR notation. Let's do that instead. Let's just say, for example, this IP. Oh, there's nothing. And let's go back and just put, let's go ahead and just do Google real quick. And let's see what comes up. And hopefully they have their certificates. We'll give this a moment to cook. And we can see all the certificates that are associated with Google, Google's DNS server. So you can see that here, the log, uh, log at you know 1015. Today is 
the 18th. So you guys get the gist and you can click into this and you can get some more details about the certificate and all that good stuff to make sure it's it's good to go. But that's that's uh, not about this video, but I just wanted to put that out there as well. This is about pen testing uh, search engines that I utilize. And these are all ones that I've used, I'm pretty familiar with, and I'll give you a little overview, overview on each one. So the next one is hunter.io. Anytime you have a pen test or any kind of intel that you wanna get. So say for example, you know, you talk to maybe a recruiter, you can use this obviously to reach out to people too, in all honesty. So say for example, if I'm hiring at InfoSec Pat and I, I, I called you up or whatever, we talked and you didn't get my email because you forgot, right? Obviously this is not gonna work on like a gmail.com, but if you know, you know, maybe InfoSec Pat has a company, right? Like let's go ahead and go to Finder on the left-hand side here and let's go ahead and just click on InfoSec Pat, right? We can just put infosecpat.com and we can see, oh, maybe pat at infosecpat.com is an email that that is Patrick's, right? So let's go ahead and just copy this and send him an email and let's hopefully he gets it, right? So you can utilize this for that or you can utilize this, for example, if you're doing a test and it's a full black box test and you only have infosecpat.com that you're testing, what if you wanna try to utilize some credentials against this person that we need to get a, maybe a word list. Maybe we need to understand how their naming convention is. Like for an example, this is pretty much first name at domain. But what if we use some, uh, some other company? Let's go back here and just put, for example, Tesla. Tesla. And let's go ahead and click on this, All right? So we can see tesla.com. So we have Rico, we have first initial last name. It looks like right that's that's the naming convention here so if i want to go ahead and add this to a campaign save it as a lead because i want to email this person because maybe they are their you know the cio and we want to talk to them to see if they need any pen testing services and we can look at here too the, the sources this is going to show us where this email is pulling from or any in information where this email resides right so you can see here uh, this one has 13 we can see, okay, maybe there's a few deleted, but you can see maybe uh, Tesla, Texas. Maybe this, this person resides in Texas or this email, obviously Houston Gallery. Yeah, it makes sense, Texas. All right, you guys get the gist, hopefully. So the next one here is urlscan.io. This is pretty much a good one for sandboxing for the web. <coughs> Excuse me. So for an example, if you wanna go ahead and Sandbox, all right, I wanna give you an example. If you're a security analyst and you're looking at maybe some spam or phishing emails, I got a tickle on my nose now. So now you're gonna get an email maybe with a embedded link. Hopefully, you know, you have a process that this embedded link gets reported to the security department. Now the security department can take that link and put it into a sandbox like this to analyze that email to make sure it may be malicious, it may lead to a C2, it may lead to a, a credential harvest, something may be wrong with that. So we can analyze that and say kudos, thumbs up, Mr. User, Miss User, you did a good job, you reported this. So let's click on something here. For an example, we can click on any of these. These are sandboxed. This is recently, uh, let's look at this C2, right? So obviously, this secure server.eu, we can click on the live screenshot. We can even come down and get more show full URLs. This is what I normally do. And I look at the behavior and you can see everything that's going on with this URL, right? So you can look at, you, you, oh, not that, sorry. Let's go back for example. And it's from Recorded Future. So Recorded Future is a good tool. Let's go back home. And let's go ahead and click on it again and want to go ahead and look at live screenshot so this is going to show us the live screenshot of that url so this looks a little weird right like if someone reported this i'd be like yeah this looks a little fishy especially if we're in the us and someone's sending this over yeah it doesn't look too uh, promising so i would say remove it block uh, i would block it and put that in the books right so that's the next tool 
The next one is Grip App. I want to start moving a little quicker, and you guys can do some research. And if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments or reach out to me, and we can, you know, take this conversation further. So the next one here is Grip dot uh, Grip dot App. So what is this? This is pretty much a uh, a source code page. So say for example, I want to go look up, uh, let's see, Graph Graph Runner. Right, Graph Runner. I think that's the name of this cool tool from awesome folks. So we have like, I think it's Graph Runner, and I think it was from Bo from Black Hills. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. I thought it was, I thought it was like that. Let me see. Um, anyhow, like you guys get the gist. You can go. You can go ahead and just click in. Maybe my spelling is off. I'm not sure, but you can see like now we can look at the code in here, and without this. You know, without this, this engine, the search engine, it would have never let us down the path of getting to their GitHub. So that's pretty much that. Let's say, for an example, uh, infosec path. Uh, no, I don't. I don't really have anything out there. Uh, let's see, for an example, TCM. I know TCM security has things out there, right? Because let's see, TCM security. So TCM, they have. You know, some people put ethical hacking for the PEH course or for the PMPT, you can see people putting stuff out there. Um, and I know another one, which is Pimp My Cali, right? That's also from them, Pimp My Cali, right? So we have Dwall right here, and you can say, okay, I wanna check this out. You can click on this and you can get right to Pimp My Cali. So hopefully that's uh, that gives you a little insight about this, this tool. The next one here is Intelligent X. So this is a good tool to do some OSINT. And if I want to go ahead and just put in, let's do infosecpat.com. Let's just use that for an example, infosecpat.com. And we can see what comes up with infosecpat.com, right? There's not much, this is all pro, like, so you need to have a pro edition. And, or well, let's see, for example, one or Google, 8.8.8.8. Let's see what's cooking here. Obviously, uh, I reached my limit. Whoops, sorry. So I can't really do anything until I sign in or sign up. But you guys get the gist. It's pretty much an open source uh, tool to do some OSINT. So the next one here is a Wi-Fi tool, right? So wiggle.net is cool. So you can do like, it says all the networks find by, found by everyone, all right? So you can go poke around. For an example, I can put like for New York, city right and let's go ahead and check here and we can actually click in so say for example you're going to do a new pen test for someone in new york and want to go ahead and drill down into let's see if we can drill down into there and you can start seeing i don't know why it looks all crazy but you can drill really really deep let's keep going 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 and you guys get the gist it's super super slow i don't know why it's slow for me but yeah, it's, it's like locking up. But you guys can see, on the, maybe you can't see because my big head's in the way, but you have lot of, uh, lat latitude and longitude. You can see like SSIDs, BSSIDs, et cetera. And you can, you know, try to tinker around with this. You have tools, you have stats, your info, uploads, views, different things. It's really loading super, super slow. But you can play around with this and it's, it's really cool. You can see where access points are exposed. The next tool here I want to go over is Full Hunt. So this is a tool that I use. I don't have. I'm not going to put my uh, my my login or expose the the, the, the info that I'm using, but ex expose your attack surface. So this is sort of like you can you think about this as like maybe like a recorded future, a threat intel, uh, an attack surface uh, type of uh, tool, right? And you can you can check out. You know, for example, you can see right here, Kaspersky, and you can just look around and check this out. It's a really, really cool tool. If your company is willing to pay for it, you know, it's definitely something I wanted to put out there. The next one here is Volners.com. So Volners.com is an all-in-one vulnerability intelligent, intelligence, excuse me. So you can just look for different vulnerabilities like bounties. You can let's just search that, for example. And you can go vendors like WordFence, which is a web application firewall from for WordPress. 
you can see the weekly intelligence from here and you can see okay like there's uh this guy earned thirty one thousand dollars you know web hooks scanners so say for example you want to scan from apis you can do api scans obviously you you can start a 30 30 day trial but having this to look for some vulnerabilities out there is super, super critical. And I think it's super beneficial. And the last one here is gonna be another threat intel, gray noise. You could do pretty much similar. Let's just go ahead and just go Google. I love picking on Google, right? So doing google.com, you're gonna get a lot of the same information, but it's just different tools to, to showcase and show you guys different ways to do, you know, million ways to skin a cat, right? So yeah, this is pretty much google.com and you can see some description, the trust level, the category, last time it's updated, which is updated today. Today is the 18th. And that's pretty much all I wanted to showcase today. So this is different search engines that pen testers, security researchers, ethical hackers utilize. And if you, you, if you guys utilize anything different, put it in the, in the comments. I wanna learn and be exposed to more cool tools like this so thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.